Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and I'd like to know if you think that this box is to the 2020 NEC code so far. And what we have, if we have two cables coming to the box, these are 12, 2 with ground, that's 12 gauge. Each cable has two conductors and one ground. So we got two 12, 2 with grounds coming into the box. They're not connected, and they're both coming into the same hole. See, we've got two cables coming into the same hole. They're, they're loose. They're not connected. It's a 4x2 box, and underneath the box, I've made marks at 8 inches. This is 8 inches of sheathing run right here. See, there's a mark there and a mark there. So I have my staples at about 7 inches. I have a little loop here. So the cables are stapled at about 7 inches of the length of the sheathing. So what do you think? Do you think we're meeting the code so far? Let's go check it out. Well, here we are at the 2020 NEC Article 314.17 Conductors Entering Boxes Conduit Bodies or Fittings. And we're going to go down to B. So here we are at B2 conductors entering through cable clamps where cable assemblies with non-metallic sheaths are used the sheath shall extend not less than six millimeters or a quarter of an inch inside the box and beyond any cable clamp so our sheaths were extended about three quarters of an inch into the box so we're good there and here we here is an exception though this does pertain to us where non-metallic sheath cable is used with single gang non-metallic boxes not larger than 57 millimeters by 100 millimeters which is two and a quarter by four inches that's what we're using mounted in walls or ceilings and where the cable is fastened within eight inches of the box remember we are about seven inches of the box measured along the sheath and where this sheath extends through a cable knockout not less than six millimeters or quarter inch securing the cable to the box shall not be required so there's an answer to one of our questions you don't have to secure it and it says multiple cable entries shall be permitted in a single cable knockout opening so there's the other answer to the second question say yes Multiple cable entries shall be permitted in a single cable knockout opening. I'll put links in my video description for my Vito OT-MC tool bag. And I'll put links for each and every one of the electrician's type tools found in the bag. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.